Second, to help local officials whose communities are being overwhelmed by hordes of illegal immigrants who are being dropped off by the Biden administration, Texas is providing charter buses to send these illegal immigrants who have been dropped off by the Biden administration to Washington, D.C. How about that right there? That was Texas Governor Greg Abbott announcing his plan to bus illegal immigrants to Washington, D.C. so the Biden administration can better address the problem. Welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Rob Finnerty with Allison Maloney. As of Monday, almost 18,000 illegal immigrants are crossing our southern border every single day. Yeah, for more on this, let's welcome in Republican congressional candidate Irene Armanderas Jackson. Irene, thanks for joining us this morning. So I first, I want to get your reaction to what Governor Abbott is doing and also that the White House plans to give immigrants cell phones when they cross the border. Well, first of all, let's call them what they are. They're illegal aliens. They're not immigrants. My parents are immigrants. They came to the United States legally and they are appalled to be that these people are being called immigrants. And I, I, I applaud definitely uh, Governor Abbott. And I would hope that maybe he gets some of the congressional addresses and drop them off at their homes as well, because we wanna make sure that the American people, their voice is heard. I think a lot of Americans feel that the same way that I do. We feel like our voice is not being heard. We see the catastrophe on the Southern border. All I have to do is look out in my backyard and we see it every day, unfortunately. It has become the way of life in my community. Right. And that's the sad part. To add to your initial point, Jen Psaki yesterday called this irregular migration, like illegal immigration is a, a flock of birds or something like that. It makes no sense that we can't just call this what it really is. And these are illegal immigrants that are breaking the law. The second they step foot on American sovereign territory, they are committing a federal crime. And instead, we're all being gaslit, literally irregular migration. That's what we're now being told to, to call what we're seeing at the southern border. My question for you, and you just mentioned your friends and neighbors, how are the people of Texas reacting to this? Sadly, it's become a way of life. It's gone on for the last 18 months. How are they reacting? And, and how do you think that will play out as we get closer to the midterm elections? We are all outraged. We've had enough. You're telling us that illegal immigration is good that if we talk about illegal immigration being uh, that we don't want it, that we're racist, there's nothing more racist than hurting Hispanic communities. And the border is comprised of mainly Hispanic people, just like myself. I'm first generation born in the United States. My parents came legally to offer their children a better opportunity. And we are the epitome of the American dream. My dad worked in the fields in California, worked construction to provide for our family. But unfortunately, he had to leave El Paso many times because illegals would come and underbid his jobs. Wow. And so for months at a time, he would have to leave. And I didn't see one single Democrat advocating for the separation of my family. Mm. So if Democrats really cared about Hispanics, they would be outraged with this illegal immigration. Yeah, Irene, the, the White House, they're going to be lifting Title 42 soon. We can, we're going to see almost half a million uh, illegal migrants crossing the border per month. I mean, what does this mean for you and, and people in Texas? Well, it means that we're going to see a lot more of an influx. Our Border Patrol agents, we already know that their morale is, is, in, is pretty bad. Um, my husband just retired in December from 24 years in the Border Patrol. Wow. And what we're hearing directly from the Border Patrol agents, because we stay in communication with them, and I ask them, give me your thoughts. What do you want America to know? Because they have been voiceless. The Democrats have villainized them. They are human beings. The dehumanization of Border Patrol agents is unacceptable. And what they're telling me is they are overwhelmed already. Uh, there's, there's a sense of almost um, defeat of what's going to happen so after sad. May the 23rd. Uh, Irene, can I, can I ask you, we're, we're tight on sure. time, but I, I want to ask you just about your husband, 24 years on the Border Patrol. Is this the worst he's ever seen it? Yes, and of course, in 2019, when okay. the Democrats had the opportunity to bring relief and they didn't. Okay. And that's why I'm running for Congress. 
I want to make sure that not only we have Republicans in Congress, but we have patriots. I, I read just, a, just a, quick, a quick follow up and just about sure. 10 seconds if I could. But could this backfire on Democrats, this plan to turn America blue by letting in all these illegal immigrants? I think it already has. My husband is now substituting and he had two uh, of the people that he was substituting with tell him we are Democrats, but this year we're voting Republican. And that's the wow. sentiment that we get. We're wow. going to the wow. food banks telling them and they're outraged and wow. I'm outraged. Okay. All right, Irene, thank you so much for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. Come thank back and you. see us. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.